What's going on guys? It's Boy Adoptionism here. This is my third time attempting this because for some reason the Elgato software just doesn't want to record my voice. I don't know why. It's beautiful. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, this is going to be skill builds on all the characters. Uh, I know I've already kind of done one for the Reaver and I showed you how to get really good DPS with the Hunter. But this is going to be a little more in-depth so I'm going to go ahead and I'm probably going to end up redoing it. But yeah, each video is going to be each character. So let me know what you guys think of uh, different builds that uh, I'm suggesting. The first one, we're going to start at the other side of the spectrum. Uh, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys how to do a Arcane Warrior tank or shield tank, or uh, spe uh, spirit blade tank, um, a lot of people just know that arcane warriors have the um, the potential to actually be just a solo tank, so yeah, um, when we get into the skill tree here, uh, a lot of people go like down elemental, because I've seen a lot of uh, stone fist uh, arcane warriors, which I'm not, I'm not a big fan of stone fist, but I know a combo that would actually work, and if uh, we do this, if I can think of this properly, there's actually something that we could do with Stone Fist. So, um, first, you want to start off with Mentalism. Obviously, you start off with uh, spe uh, Spear Blade. Um, I'm not a. I don't know if I want to do Defending Blade. I mean, I'm probably when I promote this character, I might take it off. But you want to do is uh, usually one full straight run of. Uh, like, I mean, from zone 1, completing zone 5, all the way through. She gets you to level 6 when you're on routine. Uh, gets you to level 7 or 8 on uh, threatening, and level 10 on perilous, if you have a group that's cool enough to rush you through it. But, um, yeah, so you start off with Spirit Blade, so no big deal. But the next level that you get, you need to put Fade Shield on. The reason why is because some of you guys know, some of you don't. Uh, every time that you hit something and you cause damage with your Spirit Blade, 30% of that damage dealt actually uh, generates into a, an actual, like a, a shield or uh, the barrier, like what uh, Keepers do and uh, Elementalists can do. And um, yeah, you just, you want to get that. And this build is literally going to be focusing on the barrier build and uh, pretty much withstanding damage. Uh, so, I mean, obviously you get that one on there, so that's like the main one right there, level two, you hit level two, you want to get that. Uh, and then next level, you could go with, uh, the cooldown reduction for later on, um, but, uh, we don't, I mean, this is just to get down to the tree so you can get the conductive current, because for each swing that you do with your sword, it's gonna end up, uh, causing you to use mana, even if you have a high regen, it's still gonna drain away. But um, if anything, I'd say uh, level 2, you get that. Level 3, get your combat clarity, so that way your mana regen is a little faster. And because it says when you're near hostile enemies, and if you're going to be a spear blade tank, everything's going to be right next to you, so that should work. And then, of course, force of will, uh, armor bonus, uh, 20%, so that's really great. Some people like having psychic backlash because of the stun chance, but it, it's only 5%, and I mean, hopefully you want to kill anything before then uh so yeah and if anybody knows please let me know for sure if uh spirit blade counts as casting a spell because um uh some it might be different i'm not too sure but i think it is it does count as casting a spell and i'll show you why later on when we get into the other tree so yeah we got one two three so now we're our character would be at level four Level 5, we get this, and then level 6, we would get uh, armor bonus, so you get 10% uh, after striking with Spear Blade, and I mean, that's your main focus is going to be Spear Blade, so you're going to have a pretty much a permanent 10% uh, armor increase, plus that you're going to have 30% armor increase, and that's really great. Then you want to come down here, uh, you're immune to flanking, uh, to flanking from enemies, and have less chance of being staggered when hit from the front. That's really great because when you're swinging and you get those dudes that try and like knock you back. If you guys don't know, know don't know what staggering is, it's when a uh, um, a boss or like uh, the shield and sword guys, whenever, um, not when they do the charging bash because the charging bash knocks you down, but when they do that like swing with their shield, it makes your guy like kind of throw his hands up in the air like ah, and you're pretty much open for like two seconds and you don't want to get punished so. Um, that's actually really good, and, um, this is the main, the uh, big one that we're going for right here. That's a really awesome passive along the way to get to conductive current is, uh, you get a 50% barrier bonus. So, 
not only, uh, I mean, granted, it might seem like it's taken you a while to generate your uh, your barrier, but that's because you're making it to where it could actually take more damage. So that's why a 50% barrier bonus increase is really nice. And Flash Flare, just because we have to. And, I mean, it actually might be good if you have it in the rotation. Uh, I mean, after I redo this guy, uh, I'm going to definitely have his rotation a lot better than what I currently have it. But, yeah, so you get uh, Flash Fire, so you can get to Conductive Current, so that's really good. So uh, let's see, from level 1, then we hit level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so we're at level 10 right now. And literally from this tree, in my opinion, just from this tree, like, straight up this is the best one um now we might use this right here but this is an if so all right so we're at level 10 so let's go over to elemental down elemental uh you want to get down to the uh the uh veil or yeah no pull of the abyss that's what it is uh so obviously uh we would hit level 11 we get more mana regen level 12 we get weak enchants uh, 13, you want to get this first before you keep going down because you got to have damage reduction. Because uh, obviously with you having this, we can chance of uh, 5%. And I know on the other one, 5% uh, chance of stun or whatever, but uh, a 30% 30, like damage reduction is a huge, huge, huge number. So that's uh, something that I, I'd get... But um, probably, I wouldn't say priority, but if you're really more concerned with that, then yeah, definitely go get re damage reduction first. Then we're going to move on to Encircling Veil, just because you use Stray Magic, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, duration bonus versus weekend is increased by 25%, so that's awesome. Uh, and then you come down, you get Restorative Veil, which gives you uh, mana regen again, I believe. Yeah, so pretty much for every swing that you're doing with Spirit Blade, you're also recovering back uh, mana too. So uh, let's say um, you have 100 mana to start. I'm not too sure. Um, I'm pretty sure PC version might have uh, more in-depth numbers. But um, hold on, let me see. How much does Spirit Blade cost? Okay, see, look. Spirit Blade costs 10 mana per attack. So that's pretty nice. So actually, we might not even need the other mana regen passives, which would actually be really sweet, because you get that. Oh, okay, no, 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 my bad, sorry. I didn't, I, I skipped over the weekend part. But yeah, you get that. And then you want to get Pull of the Abyss. The reason why is because uh, a lot of people, a lot of smart players, uh, if you're kind of like mid to lower tier level for like doing threatening or uh, perilous, and you do doorway trapping, which... Most most people who have played those difficulties should know what I'm talking about. Um, you just toss this right in the door, right when there's a big horde, and you just you just go hard. You just run in there and just start swinging. And of course, you want to get the upgrade to uh, increase the weekend duration and reduce the cooldown by eight seconds. So I mean, 32 seconds down to 24 seconds. That's a lot better cooldown. Um, and then static charge. This is why. This is where I wanted to know if uh, Spirit Blade actually counts as casting a spell, because if that's true, and you get this, you are going to be pretty much unstoppable. Because anything that hits you is going to take damage and get paralyzed for six seconds. And that's huge when it comes to being swarmed in a group on any difficulty. That is that is a massive, massive uh, contribution. But um, yeah, guys. Uh, so let's see, level two, three... Four, five, six, seven, we'll say eight, um, nine. So that's nine. Ah, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So by level 18, you should have all of uh, this whole build pretty much complete. And then the last two levels, you can pretty much put on whatever the fuck you want. Uh, it's not really a big thing. I mean, um, I guess threat reduction would be good, uh, or what some I know what some people use is uh, frost step. Frost step is really good, so you could probably use the last two for that, or even for chain lightning or something, or stormbringer. I don't know. There's a, or yes, my bad, my bad. This is where we talk about doing stone fist. So yeah, actually, from level 19 and 20, upgrade this, so that way when you pop up, uh, pull of the abyss. Smack down Stone Fist right on all the enemies that are in there, then run in there and just go swinging. But yeah, guys, this is my um, my uh, Arcane Warrior 
tank build. Sorry if this seemed a little long. I just wanted to explain a lot better, and that way people can understand a little more. And yeah, guys, until next time, this has been your boy Adopt. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Adoptionism. Link is down in the description below. And as always, don't forget to check out my buddy Jay's stream. And also, don't forget to use discount code ADOPT. That's uh, A-D-O-P-T uh, at 7 Controllers. All Their links are in the description as well. Uh, the support would really be amazing. And yeah, stay tuned for the next videos. And then hopefully by the time you guys uh, finish watching all of them, uh, the big December 9th video for the DLC and some other things that are hush-hush and I can't tell you guys about. But yeah, guys, this has been your boy Adopt. Thanks for watching. Peace out.